In this video, I'll be showing you today an app called Site Guru. It's an SEO tool, search engine optimization tool. Hi, my name is Anil from marketingautomationfocus.com. And in this video, what I'll do is actually show you first their homepage, go over quickly some of their features, and then I'm going to take you inside of Site Guru app where I have my own account set up. I'm going to then walk you through quickly some of their key uh, features or menu or sections, what you can do inside as an example of actually one of my own websites that I've used it for. And then I'm going to show you an example of exactly how it helped me point out the location of the error or an issue that it reported uh, related to my website and how it helped me actually get to that point where I could just go there and fix uh, the issue. So let's look at this now. Um, so as you can see on the screen, it says an SEO tool that tells you how to get more traffic, even if you're not an SEO expert. Now, if you are an expert in SEO, maybe this video is not for you, uh, but you may still be interested in it. Uh, I am by no means an SEO expert, and all I wanted to do was to first not only learn about SEO, uh, but also um, make sure that my website is up to sniff and there are no issues. And if there are issues, uh, try to fix them. And hopefully this tool uh, helps me do that. And actually it is helping me because uh, I'll show you, as I mentioned before, how you can go layer by layer and you can get to the issues and how it actually tells you about the issues and how to find them and then how to fix them. Now, you may not find every solution out there, but most of them uh, you're going to be able to actually understand and fix them and maybe do some little bit of research and they have very good resources uh, for you to educate yourself and and then do it. So so let's let's go quickly. So um, and it also gives you an SEO to do list. You know, so when you run the analysis doing uh, a site audit, uh, then it helps you to that. So uh, let's go down here, and it basically shows you uh, how it works. Um, run a website audit in fifteen minutes, and like I said, I'll show you things, identify opportunities automatically. So because it, it does that automatically for, um, for you to see where the issues might be. And then it gives you kind of a, like a timeline and, and you get to see how things progressed uh, over time. So that's pretty nice feature. And then it shows, you know, if you have um, agency, then you can have clients and you can share the reports with them. And on a, a simple view, you can see the, um, uh, who you, who the clients are and what they have access to. Okay. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So let me take you inside of the, uh, site guru app of my own account. So let's go there. So here we are, uh, inside of site guru, uh, account. Um, and as you can see, uh, right now I'm at the dashboard view and you can see that it's very clean, very simple, and it lists your websites, uh, or domains. Um, and I have, uh, three of them here and, um, it's very simplistic view of how many pages, how many visits, and some kind of indication of, you know, everything is green and maybe warnings and warnings are yellow and, and the errors or problems are red. So as you can see, there's some issues going on here. And then uh, from your dashboard, you could just uh, simply either with this uh, down arrow, you can select one of your websites if you have more than one and you can add more websites based on your plan that you have with Site Guru. So 
uh, and you can also hover over this row of listing of your website and then you can click on it. So I'm just going to click on uh, this particular one and I'll, I'll take you there. And so now uh, you see uh, it's a very nice, clean, I would still call this minimalistic. You know, it, it can be busy and if you're not used to it, but it's not actually. It, it, it's very clean layout with tabs like overview, content, technical, links, insights. And then you can down, you have download option and you have various settings here. Now for each tab, there are sub tabs. So uh, in this case with overview, it's the home um, overview and, and then pages and timeline and site tree. So let's just look at the overview and it gives you SEO to-do list. So this is like improved meta description. So there's quite a few things that I need to work on. It gives you a KPIs here and, and you can restart a new audit um, that you can, see, you can see that I ran this um, yesterday and, uh, and, and now uh, fix your error pages, improve page limits, traffic, and it has some avoid internal redirects, uh, things that, and then top keywords. Um, and then this was this the latest changes. It shows up as sort of a calendar type of view. And then a site structure gives you a tree view. Um, so it kind of just kind of bird's eye view. Uh, if you have way too many pages, then obviously this list is going to be too long and you may, may not be interested in this, but you could click on each of these pages from right here and um, uh, then, then you can actually uh, go to uh, those. So let me just, let's, let's look at this one. Um, and then it slides out with everything to do with that specific page. So um, if, if you're interested in knowing issues by categories, and I'll show, show it to you in a minute, but if you click on a link of a page, then it slides out with all this information related to that page, what the SEO audit actually found, so warnings, suggestions, past tests, and uh, page speed score, uh, and index by it, all this, all this stuff here. Uh, meta description, right now I'm zoomed in a little bit, and that's why you see the text is a little bit cut off. Uh, so I'm zoomed in because it's a lot easier to show here. And, and then page title uh, is too long, and it'll, it'll show you all these issues alt text, the two images don't have alt text. So now it's showing everything to do with um, that specific page and traffic and keywords. Um, it'll show you the, the page views for that page. And then timeline is just, you know, how page health uh, has been over time and internal links. So it, it, it tells you how many for this specific, the center one is the page that we just clicked on, uh, work with Anil, and, and how many inbound links and how many outbound internal links because it's we clicked on internal links and headings and so on. So let me take you uh, back. And uh, so quickly uh, walking through the menus and how they look. Um, and then in overviews, the pages is the same thing as pages structure um, and, and timeline as I already showed you. And, and site tree is, is a slightly different view, uh, which may, may not be helpful. Uh, I haven't used it. It's kind of nice. Okay, everything uh, goes from uh, home page and, and then uh, from home page or home domain, I have a whole bunch of posts or pages, so these are kind of direct links uh, uh, to, to those pages or posts, okay? So so now, uh, then let me click on content, and then for content-wise, you know, for, for all the pages, it's checking for page titles, meta descriptions, headings, images, and uh, open graph tags, which is uh, 
OG tags, okay? And, and, and so this view, you can see that I have issue with length for with four pages. And, and so these are like a little too long uh, per the SEO guidelines here. So I haven't worked on those, so I can, I can fix those. Uh, that's pretty, um, uh, pretty good there. And then the same thing with meta descriptions. So I have issue with length in 20 pages. So in some cases, um, I got way too much in the meta description. In some cases, I have too little. So I just need to optimize uh, based on the SEO guidelines. And I think there's what um, I think is 120 uh, characters uh, lengthwise, I think. So you can check those out and it, it, it guides you through um, headings. So, so this is, so content is for all the pages which have or may have uh, issues or, or no issues you know, under the categories of page titles, meta descriptions, headings, images, OG tags, like I said before. Now let's go into technical stuff. So technical SEO then looks at uh, page speed, indexing, sitemaps, canonicals, uh, structured data, href langs, analytics, and this video I'm not covering each and every. I'm not. This is not for going over, you know, SEO each and every um, categories and explaining them. So um, this is just to show you how um, comprehensive Site Guru um, SEO tool is and how easy it is to. Um, browse through, maneuver through, and get to uh, simple, uh, in simple way, categories, okay? So I'm going to show you, so hang around, um, I'm going to show you a specific um, issue related to, I believe it was links, um, and I'm going to go to internal links, okay? So in internal links, um, Let's just you check actually internal redirects. So, uh, so what happens here is, um, if, for example, it, it might have gotten rid of already because I fixed the error, but, but I'll show you. So what happens is that over here, for example, is showing that the original URL was my domain slash blog and is being redirected to with the trailing slash, you know, the uh, my domain name slash blog slash, and it's the 301 redirect response. Um, and it's it's on the, what they call linking page, is on thank you page, and then it tells you that what's the anchor text that has the hyperlink of this original link uh, that has this internal that results in internal redirect. Now, let me show you a cool thing about this app that I forgot um, first. So, which is, uh, if you click here, if you didn't know what the heck is internal redirects and how does it work, why is it so important and things like that. So if you hover over here and click, now you get really nice handy guide here built in what are internal redirects you could read through this why redirects matter for seo and then it tells you about you know the types of redirects of 301 and 302 redirects and and so it, it, it gives you that sort of quick uh, condensed version and pretty much in most cases that's all you need um, and to to sort of understand that why is it you know, important and what is it? And and pretty much even if I didn't know anything about that and I just follow this guide to see, okay, I just need to change my URL so that I avoid the redirect, which is an internal redirect. So, so uh, now let me uh, take you to uh, the uh, another place to show you a cool, uh, another feature here. So now uh, let me show you a, a couple of cool features here uh, that I really like, uh, which is, and it's uh, it's spread all over uh, depending on where you are, which uh, tab or area like content versus technical and which 
uh, subsection or subcategory. So I'm going to just show you that, okay, let's go to content and let's click on images. So it shows that I have 16 pages that are missing alt text. So 16 pages have some images that are missing alt text. And if you know anything about SEO, then these are super important. So uh, now, just as an example, so I have a page work with Anil and that has two missing alt text. Okay, so it says images without alt text. So I'm gonna click on it and it slides out to give me the details to be specific as to exactly what two images are missing uh, alt text, okay? So, so that's pretty cool. You can just go to that image um, on your website and, and then uh, uh, you know, add your alt text. Now, uh, watch this. If you click on view page report, so again, like I showed you earlier, that with the page report, you get the details of that page. So you get go deeper and you cover everything to do with that page while you're here. So if you don't wanna do that, focus on content for images, that's fine too. But if you just curious and if you wanted to just fix everything and anything to do with that page, then you click on view page report, voila. Now you get everything, details about, so from, from various sections and areas of the app, you can get to the page report. And that page report covers everything to do with that page. You know, SEO audit, traffic, keywords, timelines. So now for SEO audit, um, you know, it gives you page title, page speed, all text. And now it's actually showing you what those two images are. Um, so you can go and, you know, add alt text to those. And if you click on information, then I think it, it jumped uh, to, to that um, right here. Um, it gives you the information uh, images are great, but don't forget alt text. And it shows you um, this kind of example, uh, alt text uh, on search engines, right? So, um, so I, I believe that if I if I close it, if you click on this eye, then it kind of opens up this one. That was hard to see earlier uh, since I'm zoomed in a little bit. Uh, so, so I hope you enjoyed this quick. Uh, overview of Site Guru, and I'll see you in another one.